you and I, we said when everybody in the preseason, smart football folks, were saying the Rams are going to the Super Bowl. We're saying Matt Stafford's going to be the MVP. You and I both were like, slow down. Pump the brakes. All right. I I do think Matthew Stafford is an upgrade over Jared Goff. But the question is how much of an upgrade? We know his numbers are gaudy. And his numbers were gaudy in Detroit. But I felt like, Rob, he's got to prove it on the big stage. All right? Of course, he, he faced pressure coming out as the number one pick in the draft. But for the most part for his career, Rob, Matthew Stafford has been out of the limelight. Matthew Stafford has been in meaningless games for the most part. He's played three playoff games but lost all three. Only threw four touchdowns, three interceptions in those three playoff games. And so let's wait and see what he does when the lights are the brightest, when the opponent is stellar. Does he show up? And Rob, sadly for Rams fans, so far, the answer has been no. And here's the deal. He entered this season, Rob, and you probably know this stat well. Eight and 68. Entering this season against teams with winning records. And this year, Rob, that gaudy 7-1 record the Rams built up, for the most part, it was against tomato cans. Yep. It was against chumps. They've got, they're one in four against teams with winning records. They did beat Tampa Bay. Congratulations. That was week three, Chris. You know how long ago that was? Right. Right. And Tampa's defense was horrible at that point. All right, but Arizona's beating them. And these last three losses, Tennessee, yesterday Green Bay, before that San Francisco, all winning teams, all the types of teams, and some of them just the flat-out teams that they will have to face in the playoffs. And Matthew Stafford, Rob, three consecutive games with pick sixes. Oh, I know he threw the 79-yarder to Van Jefferson. I know he threw the 54-yarder or whatever it was to OBJ. But the fumble, the interception, the pick six, Matthew Stafford now robbed five turnovers in his last, or actually five interceptions and a fumble in his last three games. You called it. You've called him Stat Padford. And uh, right now, that's what he's looking like. And the Rams are in trouble because of it. And, Chris, you know this was not a second guess or anything. And I stood by, even early on, when I was getting beat up and they were 7-1. and one. And what did I say to you? Wait till they play the better teams. That's always been my argument about Stat Padford. People in Detroit, nobody, Chris, in Detroit is shocked by what they've seen. Mm. Nobody. Because we've seen this. And you talked about it just a minute ago. It ain't like he never sniffed the playoffs or he never had a chance to win a big game. It ain't true. They went to the playoffs three times. Jim Caldwell, who took the uh, Indianapolis Colts, right? To the Super Bowl. To the Super Bowl. Was his coach. Yep. There were he opportunities. Had one of the best receivers ever. Calvin Chris, Johnson. He, was, he was the number one pick out of Georgia. Did they win a national championship I missed? Don't <laughs> act like he's never had a chance. And I get it. All the analysts and all the former players who were like jumping on the bandwagon. We even saw Chris, remember Peter King. MVP, he might throw for 6,000 yards. You remember all that? (laughs) And they had their chest stuck out and all that early on. Chris called it tomato cans. That's who he destroys. When I talk about Stat Pafford, I'm not saying he's a bum or he can't play. I said when he beats the good teams on the big stage with the brightest lights, Let me know. I'll raise my hand and say I was wrong. I wasn't wrong. Detroit wasn't wrong. 
We've seen this movie over and over and over. And Chris, you talked about it again. When the game was in the balance, fumble, set up mm. a score. Pick six, mm. another score. That's when the game was in the balance. You want to throw the ball up to Odell, Chris. I'm not going to take it away from you. 54 yards. That's during garbage time. So Matthew Stafford does not. I'm not surprised at all. Dude, they've been killing me on L.A. radio when I fill in. <laughs> Fred Rogan and Rodney Pete. Eric Dickerson. Oh, you know what? Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Chris. Well, well Dickerson was on our show, Mr. You remember Ram. That? And, and we he went said, at it. and we asked him. Because look, Jared Goff put up gaudy numbers at times with the Rams. He led them to the Super Bowl. I remember, remember that battle on Monday, was that Monday night with yes. the Kansas City Chiefs, Mahomes, Goff, and it, it was 50, like 54-51 or whatever, right? Like it was a big score. Jared Goff was the quarterback. Yeah. And, and, and let's not act like Chris, they went into that Super Bowl against New England averaging 33.6 points a game. Right. What are you acting like the, the Rams didn't have an offense, but Todd Gurley was a part of it? I'm going to give you three things. Why they are where they are. Sean McVay, Chris, has lost his way. They're not running the ball. They ab ab abandon the run too quickly. And they used to be play action, which opened up stuff, right, for the quarterback. Right. They don't do that anymore. Now it's like let Stafford uh, uh, stay in the pocket and, throw, and just keep trying to go for home runs. Their defense, which last year went into the playoffs, number one. And people picked them to beat Green Bay in Green Bay because that defense was number one overall. They're in the 20s now, Chris. Yep. They're getting worked over like a burger and fries every week. <laughs> and these, lastly, that's the thing about these last three games. Quickly, Rob. Yep. Tennessee, San Francisco, and Green Bay have been more physical. I didn't think I'd see a team with Aaron Donald throwing Von, Von Miller. Von Miller. On the front, like getting manhandled, maybe that's a little strong, but so, out toughed. Yep, pushed beat around. Up, pushed around. It's happening. And, and lastly, Matthew Stafford, you can't do it, Chris. I mean, what is it? Schwab is the last quarterback. He had four straight games with pick six. Uh, the last time it happened, Matt Schwab, remember him? Right. The right. quarterback. He had four games. And here, you ready for this? And, and, and it's not to compare. These two guys aren't the same, obviously. Matthew Stafford has thrown three pick sixes, one in each game, the last three games. Aaron Rodgers in his entire career, Chris, has three pick sixes. How is that possible? Three in his entire career. He throws the football. Right. Right. It look, and I'm I'm not I don't think I'm as down on Stafford as you are, but I just wanted to prove it before I crown you. You want to crown him? Then go ahead and crown him. <laughs> they are That's what I was saying. Right. He hasn't he hasn't earned that. Gaudy numbers on a, a horrible team for a decade. And you want me to say he's about to, you know run into the Hall of Fame with his chest stuck out? Hey, no! Rick, and Rams fans, if you're not asking Ed yourself this right now, something's wrong with you. Where's your Messiah now? If you want to crown him, <laughs> they crown their ass. Chris, they called them the Messiah. They got their missing piece. This is before Von Miller joined the team. Right. Before Odell, they thought they had it. They were like, all we need is a quarterback who can make the throws. That's well, it. Well, look. Dickerson was on our show, Rob, and what'd he say? The difference between Goff and Stafford is that for Goff, everything had to be perfect. Yes. Stafford could make mountains out of molehills. He could make lemonade out of lemons. I can't tell. I can't tell. No. I don't we... see. I'm not drinking lemonade. Rams fans aren't drinking lemonade. They got a bunch of sour lemons right now. 
I mean, it ain't over. You know, they they, no, they should make the playoffs. I mean, at this point, Rob, it's not guaranteed. No, no, not where they, they are. Should make the playoffs where they were. And Chris, right. other than Jacksonville next week. Go look at that schedule. Well, right. They got to get right against Jacksonville. And then if they don't they blow better, Jacksonville right. out and get some confidence and feel better, yep. look at it. They got San Francisco. They got a couple of tough Arizona. teams. Arizona. Yes. No, they got they Arizona, it, remember, yeah. in the desert because Arizona yep. beat them already in L.A. Yep. Now, they look, they got some tough sledding ahead of them. And uh, they all got to get right. Like you said, Sean McVay is not blameless. Nope. He's got to get right. Stafford's got to get right, and uh, that defense got to get right. I don't know if they, you know, they, they for some reason, were they fat and happy? Why? You lost in the second round of the playoffs. Why were you fat and happy? But that defense isn't the same, so uh, they better get it together too. All right.